This is cool. I didn't uh, uh. You can take the knee and try a 56 yard field goal. This is not the great man, this is the Super Bowl. It's a great intro. Don't get me wrong, it's a great intro. It's just a minute and a half long. Mike never disappoints. So this is why when you put a podcast uh, together at the last second at 5 to 10, make it 15 minutes long, you forget certain things. And I obviously forgot to just not play the audio. Like I say, it's a fantastic intro tune. It really is. It's obviously outdated because I'm not in Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota right now. I'm in Castle, California, uh, north of Los Angeles. Once again, apple, peanut butter. It is going to be a staple. I will I will just keep going with this. Um, so bottom line now, I only got 13 minutes. And on top of that, like I said last night, I should only have three minutes left because I need to, I need to make this into five minutes. My mind is blown, though, simply because I'm so bad, I'm so bad, excuse me, at trying to figure out, all I want to do on this is is two different things. I want to make sure that the audio is top notch, and if that's with this webcam, or if it's me setting up my, uh, video recorder, whatever, I don't, even, I don't even know what they're called, you know what I'm talking about, uh, handheld, like, whatever, to get a better picture, if I need to use my iPad to do that, that's one thing, second, like I said last night, possibly, I want to be able to put, yeah, I did, I want to put pictures, you know, if I'm talking about March Madness, right, like, the, the tournaments are going on right now, I would like to have a video clip. I, you know, I'd like to have my own little <laughs> sports center, basically, is what I would like to have. And I and I think it's possible. I just don't know how to go about doing it. And so I wanted to actually have it for tonight. Um, yet at the same time, I'm the guy who at 5 to 10 is going to be up till who knows when, trying to figure it all out. Because come Monday... For the next podcast, I want to be able to do this. I want to figure out how I can go about doing it. If I need to, like, beckon somebody's help about it, great. I don't care. I just, I, but I would really love to just talk. If somebody could do everything else for me, that would be great. Just set it all up. I'll talk. I'll do what I need to do. And uh, show me how to do it. And great. You know, I mean, there's just so many God damn videos out there and articles about how to do it and my mind gets all messy because it's it's not my gig. It's just not my gig to like do that stuff. So with that said, I'm going to obviously take the weekend, hopefully figure it out, get somebody's expertise, try and find something, somebody who knows what the hell they're doing, <laughs> obviously because I don't. And then we'll go from there. Uh, so with that said, uh, I have not <laughs> watched a second of the basketball that's going on. Um, unfortunately, too, don't get me wrong. You know, I mean, I just, I've been busy. I've been busy. Um, and so I haven't had an opportunity to actually see the games that actually have been going on today. But by looking at the scores, 
they've been really good. Uh, you know, the, there's actually one in process or process progress right now. The Cal and Utah game, uh, tight one at the moment uh, with Cal being up. But earlier today, Michigan last second three pointer to beat Indiana in the Big Ten champ or in the Big Ten tournament. You had Seton Hall, unranked Seton Hall, uh, who beat Xavier, fifth ranked Xavier at that. Um, ben Simmons moves on. It would be kind of cool. I mean. LSU ended up beating Kentucky uh, to go and, uh, you know, be, get the automatic bid. Obviously, the game of the day. And this is this is how fun the world works sometimes, too. Uh, my buddy Bob Starr shot me a text earlier saying, in the draft where Kemba Walker uh, went to Charlotte, the Timberwolves, uh, who we're fans of, uh, unfortunately, because we've been through hell and back with them, in that draft, the Timberwolves selected Derek Williams at two, and Kemba Walker went six, Clay Thompson went 11, and Kawhi Leonard went 15. And it's just pouring salt in that wound. It's not bad enough that we ended up getting two, not just one, two point guards in front of uh, Steph Curry. Johnny Flynn... Uh, which coincides with what I'm probably about to say, too. Um, and uh, Ricky Rubio. Rubio has turned out to be average. Johnny Flynn, I don't even think he's in the league anymore. I, I have no idea if he is or not. With that said, the lights are dimming in here. And do you see this? <laughs> like, uh, whatever. <coughs> with that said, Bob Starr sends me that text about Kemba Walker. And I remember back when they won the national championship with Kemba Walker that I, I was, they went on that epic run in the Big East tourney, rattled off six straight, I think, well, I can't remember how many it was in the tourney. Yeah, that's when the Big East had 16 teams, and so you had to win, I think, four games, something close to that, to win the Big East. And uh, they were average pretty much at best and then Kemba Walker went loco ends up you know winning the Big East getting the automatic bid going and because they won the Big East I on a whim in the bracket that I filled out I said UConn's gonna win it the only person at my work who had picked UConn and obviously they won <laughs> bottom line is we could have had Kemba also UConn Tonight, four overtime game, four overtimes, win over Cincy. Uh, but it just reminded, you know, Bob brought up Kemba Walker, UConn, and uh, the run they went on. And then all of a sudden, UConn plays in the game of the day against Cincy, four overtimes. If you missed that, I did <laughs> myself, but I saw the highlights. And uh, the buzzer beaters and the four overtimes, it just, it had everything. Um, so UConn moves on in that, and that's it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, but, they, you know, it's also bittersweet. Timberwolves, by the way, won tonight at Oklahoma City. I don't know if that's necessarily a product of the Timberwolves being, you know, getting better. Because they've got so much young talent. And really, really good young talent. Or if it's just Oklahoma City melting epically since the All-Star break. Uh, and so, I mean, I think it's kind of a mix of both of those, but it did not looking good for Oklahoma City. Huge win for the Timberwolves. Huge. Um, so, Michigan State takes care of business. Wallops, Ohio State, kills them. Uh, Kansas beats Baylor. UNC uh, is going to be playing, I think, Virginia tomorrow. And I don't know if it's for the championship or not. I don't. I, I'm talking out of my ass right now. I really am. I'm just being honest. Um, I'll, I'll still watch it probably tomorrow. Nothing better to do. And uh, hang out and watch some basketball. I don't know. I probably won't. It's going to be, I'm in California. It's going to be sunny, beautiful. I'm probably going to go to, you know, the ocean or a canyon, you know, go for a walk, all that type of stuff. I, there's no way I'm going to be in front of a TV tomorrow watching this stuff. But I will keep up with it, obviously. That's because it's what we do here. It's what we do. Um, so, anyway, the, 
there's zero chance in this lifetime that I'm ever going to be able to have a, a podcast for five minutes. I mean, I'm at 10 and I haven't even talked about anything yet. It's just, it's incredible. I am going to, this is going to be epic fail, but it's fun doing it. I don't even care. It's just fun. I got my apple and my peanut butter. That's all I need. What else is going on? Hold on. Oh yeah, West Virginia, Oklahoma. Do you care? Do you really care? How about how about Dirty Sanchez? This is our tra- transition into NFL free agency. Dirty Sanchez, Mark Sanchez, gets traded to Denver, and I mean, you can't for a seventh round pick. You can't believe that. Mark Sanchez is going to be the starting quarterback in Denver. Right? Granted, this is the same Mark Sanchez when afforded the opportunity to have a, a great defense as a Jet, went to back-to-back AFC Championship games, if you remember. Unfortunately, lost them both. But the perfect example of a Trent Dilfer. <coughs> I am dying. And this cough is killing me. But a perfect example of a Trent Delfer. Somebody that, you know, just don't, don't F it up. You know, right? Trent Delfer, that 2000 Ravens team where they won the Super Bowl, they're, they they went eight quarters or nine quarters without scoring a touchdown. And so, you can't, you just can't mess up. Um, and I, I don't, I still think Sanchez isn't the guy. I think, I think they got Sanchez because they saw what he could do in Philly. When called upon, he could do quick sub-duty and and be decent, especially if he got a defense like Denver has, although they are kind of getting fleeced. Not not terribly by any means, but they've lost a couple people, uh, Malik Jackson and uh, Danny Trevathan uh, so far to, you know, somebody and somebody. Uh, And so, you know, I mean... They, they still got Von Miller. It looks like they still got DeMarcus Ware and, and company. Keep the leave. So, Sanchez there as a stopgap. If the starter gets hurt, great. I still think, I still think Kaepernick goes there. Uh, and I just say, I don't know. That's a that's a, a good fit for Cap. It's a good fit for everybody. Kaepernick's decent. He's been to a Super Bowl. He's not great by any means, not even close, but he's got, he's got good tape, he does, he's, he's done well, it's just obviously he could be a lot better, but he, once again, he, all, he doesn't, ju- he just doesn't need to mess it up, and uh, Denver's got the defense, and he can, he, that team would be good with Kaepernick, as much as I don't like Kaepernick, as much as I want him to go to the Browns and fail miserably, you know, you gotta admit, Brown, Broncos would probably be a good fit for him. So we'll see how that all trans, transpires. Um, one thing before I, I take off, because this is, once again, it's always the fastest 15 minutes of my life. Every time I do this, bam, man and a half. Um, real quick, RG3, I just, I have to talk about it because it's funny to me. This is how dumb NFL franchises, sports franchises are. RG3, it is rumored that he met with the Jets today. Ryan Fitzpatrick is a free agent. They're trying to work out a deal. I would hope, because I think with the addition of Matt Forte, I think Ryan Fitzpatrick would do really well. But they bring in RG3, which I just, you want to implode a football team real fast? Put Geno Smith and RG3 in the same locker room at the same position, competing for the same starting role. I, I mean, what do you, <laughs> you... I don't think people understand dynamics. The intangibles of cohesion in a locker room. The, every Super Bowl team, Denver this year, New England last year, every single one of them says the same thing. We had great chemistry. We were brothers. We all got along great. We had fun doing what we were doing. It's just, why would you put something together that could explode? Okay. Anyway, I'm out. Uh, Shirts for Skin Podcast. I'm Alistair Conrad. Thanks for tuning in. I will uh, chat with you Monday, hopefully in a whole new way. Take care.